Okay, so according to you, what is the most immoral choice that your character has done? <laughs> I guess I'll start. <laughs> so technically, I just killed those guys <laughs> in the gas chamber that time. But I barbecued a lot of grounders in season one. <laughs> and nobody seems to remember that, but I do. I like did a ring of fire around Coming grounders in season one, and then for six seasons that I never killed anyone. <laughs> I definitely killed a lot of people. <laughs> so yes, I did that. I think I killed a lot of people too, um, especially in season one. Uh, unknowing. Well, we did the culling. Oh, we did the culling. That's right. Yeah. yeah, basically a lot of killing. Yeah. I think we could all say the same. But I, and then I made up for it. You know, I had, no, well, I had guilt trips forever afterwards. Uh, I feel like I probably could have done better with Jasper. Probably could have done, you know, like Harper didn't have to die. He could have been like, hey, you go in cryo, and then you can raise Jordan. But he's like, nah, let's, let's go. So I probably should have cryoed Harper, but I didn't. Where is Chelsea? I think like Echo killed a lot of people. I killed a lot of people. I don't know who killed the most people. We talked about this once. I think Clark. I think it was Clark. Yeah, I think Echo right after. Um, I think the Octavia thing. Octavia like fell off of the cliff and Echo was like, oh shit. Weren't you supposed to kill her? Yeah. No, like they had it so I they had it so I booted her off the cliff. In these shoes, in fact. These are the shoes that Echo wore. <laughs> um, and then and then Jason changed it in an edit to where she like stumbled back. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't boot her. No, I stabbed her. Oh. And then, by accident. <laughs> and then she fell off the cliff. And then she fell off the cliff. So you didn't really No, oh. I didn't mean to. So I was a cop. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that. You're not arrested. Not arrested. <laughs> Did you yeah. kill people when you were a spy? You like made up these. Well, actually. Not weather. That's true. But yeah. she didn't care about that. She didn't care about that. What? She didn't care about that. She was like, that's fine. I think it was when she had to kill her friend and assume her friend's identity. Yeah, that was a big one. That was a big one. When she killed Octavia by accident. I think it's whether or not you cared about it, because if you did it. <laughs> no, wasn't the question, what is the thing with the most remorse? Oh, no, immoral. Oh, immoral. Okay, yeah, Mount Weather. <laughs> So, I think what happened with Finn was that driven, it was like desperation to try to find Clark, right? Uh, something gets in the way, and then kills a whole bunch of people, goes crazy. Yeah, you like snapped. Yeah, that was their first hand, like they count that, that's exactly what happened. It's something to do with a watch. Where? Where Somebody had her watch and made them seem like they did something oh. bad with her. <laughs> I remember whoever was directing that episode was like, don't get the teeth, you're like doing something with your teeth. Like, you're doing it. And I was like, and I kept doing it, and I couldn't stop. No <laughs> kind of like, oh, I think he's laughing. He's laughing. He's laughing. I had such a laundry list of okay. moral choices. <laughs> a lot of murders. A lot of uh, lies, some cheating. No. Was it? No. I don't think so. 
I think the most immoral, because like a lot of the times I did things were somewhat justified for my own survival. This one was just pure dickery, was wanting to kill Jasper because he was moaning too loud. And I was trying to sleep. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, and I was, I was like, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> like, that's it. It's like, he's hurt, I'm like, I don't give a, don't give a crap, <laughs> he's dead. That was probably the most immoral. The rest of the murders were pretty fine by me. I think I can make sense. <laughs> justified in its own sense. Well, most of it can be justified in its own sense. Um, I mean, okay, I know a lot of the stuff that happened with Maddie was very controversial, and I received a lot of opinions on what happened, but she was a kid. That's my justification. She was a kid. She didn't... So was I. Yeah. Okay, well, I didn't do it. Yeah, no, you don't have to be. You shouldn't have to be. I, okay, okay. She, she didn't know better. She was like, how old is she? She was 12? What 12 year old knows what they're doing? When I was 12, I thought I was a wolf. Werewolf. I still think that. That's sick. That's sick as hell. right? <laughs> That's my justification. Um, there was a specific example that I was thinking of, but I really can't remember. But, you know, she was a kid. She did silly things. Should she have become... Commander, that was a lot for her. She needed a nap. She needed nap time. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, Maddie. I'm gonna give you a nap time and a blanket, like a candy bar. And that's it. But where in there that was too immoral? Because she did. Like there were definitely some immoral things or some things that she shouldn't have done. But she was a kid. There were people putting a lot of pressure on. For sure. The one thing that I would say that I think that she shouldn't have done is at the very end, I can't remember, I'm not going to remember the exact example, she, it was when she was transporting to go like sacrifice herself, which I guess is a pretty, you know, pretty cool thing, pretty cool thing. but she stabbed herself to transport herself in front of Clark. Like if you're going to do that, don't do it in front of like your mother. It's pretty like adopted. Foster? Adopted? Foster? Does anyone? Surrogate mother. I don't know. If you're gonna do that, don't do it in front of your surrogate mother. Maybe keep that from them. If you're gonna stab yourself and then get transported to another dimension. I don't think my mom would be happy to witness me doing that, but maybe that's, yeah. <laughs> Euh, ok, donc pour l'INSEE, comme vous le savez tous, elle a tué beaucoup, beaucoup, beaucoup de gens. Euh, donc elle parle de les avoir tués dans la, dans la chambre à gaz. Et elle a fait un barbecue de Grounders dans la saison 1. Donc elle a tué beaucoup de gens et elle trouve que c'est vraiment très immoral. Pour Henri, pareil, euh, il a tué beaucoup de gens dans la saison 1 aussi. Euh, pour Christopher, euh, il, il aurait espéré faire mieux avec euh, Jasper. Et euh, Harper, selon lui, n'aurait pas dû mourir. Pour Tasia, euh, pareil, elle a tué beaucoup de monde. Euh, mais il pense, euh, je crois que c'était Tasia et Lindsay qui pensent que c'est Clark qui, au final, a tué le plus de monde dans la série. Et elle repense au moment où, euh, où elle est face à Octavia à la falaise et qu'elle la poignarde et puis qu'elle est, elle est, finalement elle tombe et elle, euh, oups, elle est tombée. <rire> Pour Thomas, euh, il pense qu'il était tellement désespéré de retrouver Clark euh, qu'il a tué du, pas mal de monde et qu'il euh, qu a perdu un petit peu la tête. Euh, pour Richard, alors lui, il a fait beaucoup de choses très immorales. Euh, il a beaucoup menti. Euh, il a fait, alors il se justifie en disant que c'était pour sa propre survie. Mais euh, une chose qui était immorale selon lui, c'était de, de vouloir tuer Jasper euh, parce qu'il bah, était endormi et puis... Euh, pas... Mais tout le reste, c'était vraiment pour sa propre survie. Euh, pour Lola, ce qu'elle euh, qu a fait, ça a été pas mal controversé. Elle a eu beaucoup d'opinions par rapport à son personnage. Euh, elle se justifie en disant que c'était juste une enfant, elle, elle avait 12 ans. Euh, c'était beaucoup, beaucoup de choses à intégrer pour elle. Euh, et, mais la chose immorale qu'elle pense avoir faite, c'est de se sacrifier devant sa propre mère euh, adoptive. Enfin, voilà, devant sa, sa propre mère, elle pense que si elle le faisait dans la vraie vie, sa mère ne serait pas super, super fan de cet acte. 
Et euh, petite anecdote drôle, Lola disait qu'à 12 ans, elle, elle, elle pensait être un loup-garou, et Richard dit qu'il pense qu'il en est toujours un à l'heure actuelle. <rire> voilà.